Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning into Miss Glenda's spirit. Welcome. Hi. How are you, Glenda? I'm doing just fine. Glenda, where are you calling from? Moscow Mills, Missouri. All right. So, Glenda, the first impression I receive is I see a male that's been driving or drove a truck. Who like to drive a truck? Oh, okay. Do you know who I'm speaking about? I'm not sure. I have two (laughs) ex-husbands. Oh, the trucks seem to be significant, like you would know, because it was connected to you in some way. Right. I have an ex-husband that drove a tractor trailer. But did he have a truck as well? Because I'm seeing this gentleman in a truck. He did have it one time, yes. Loved his truck. So I see him driving and he liked to go on drives. Does that make sense? Yes, it's really confusing. I have another ex-husband that also drove a truck, but not as much as the other one did. All right, both of them did. I'm sorry to get confused. I didn't know you had two of them that way. Yeah, I have too many. (laughs) Uh, Okay, and one of them, you didn't get to say goodbye before they passed. This is true. So that's the one that's here. And he said that that would explain why you've been angry at him, because he says you had been angry at him for a long time, and there's still a lot of anger about the past. No, no, I'm not angry with him. Were you at one point? No, no, I was more him angry with me. All right, it was him angry at you, but he wants to share he still loved you, and that's what I think he wants you to know, because I feel like that's been a setback as far as relationships are concerned. Well, yeah, if it's a setback, I didn't want the divorce. He did. Right. And then also, who had the disability? Was it you, honey, or was he on disability? Not me, no, but he would have been on disability before he died, but so was my other ex-husband. Right. I think he was fighting to keep it or something like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, with the one, he had some difficulties with it. He had to really fight a lot with them, but it was through the VA. Right. So you understand that's the confirmation about love. You understand? <sighs> yes, I could understand that. So that's the whole point. So I know that there was a lot of hardships and whatever disagreements you still had. And even though you guys parted, there is still great love and he's in your presence. We were very close. Yeah very close. So I wouldn't know that about disability and fighting it unless he was talking to me. Right. So that's why this message needed to come through to you so you could get some closure about it. All right. Okay. Yeah. He kind of did say goodbye to me though before he went to the VA and he had surgery but he came through it and he was supposed to be coming home and (laughs) he didn't. I really, oh my God, it's difficult. There's been a lot of deaths, a lot of deaths lately. You know, when I start these calls out, I pray what's for the highest good for you at this moment in time. And that's who came through for you. We could try again. Okay. All right. Thank you, Glenda, for sharing your time with me. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And if you'd like to call into the pre-recorded show, sign up at radiomediumlaurelee.com where you can find about my services and my upcoming group reading webinars. And don't forget, you can tune into your spirit every day by subscribing to the podcast. And we'd appreciate it if you could share it and rate it and join me for the conversation over at Facebook Radio Medium Laurelee Group. I would love to hear from you.